Hello guys, my name is Biscuit and welcome back to my channel or if you're here for the very first time, welcome! We are reacting today to Saving Private Ryan and this was one of the... No, this was not one of the... This is the most requested movie I have ever been asked to react to on Patreon, YouTube comments, everywhere is all about Saving Private Ryan. Last week or two weeks ago I did a poll on my Patreon which should be the movie I react to next this one won so thank you everybody for voting of course i was told it's gonna be a crying movie i got a role i'm ready i'm so ready i'm so ready i was i was told what to kind of like to kind of expect that i'm gonna be crying if i cry i cry i'm ready if i don't cry i'm not crying uh so this movie is from 1998 i was two years old i am excited to react to it of course at the end i'm gonna give it um a rating between one to five stars and we will be discussing about it don't forget to like and subscribe if you like it and if you have not subscribed of course check the patreon as well if you wish you have the link in the description below and for more me i do stream on twitch almost daily will be my pleasure to get to know you there it's a little bit easier to do so i'm very nervous as you could tell i am actually very nervous but i'm very excited i am so very excited okay ready guys Let's go! I got water, no coffee, because it's really late. I don't know what to expect. I feel like because everybody wanted me to react to it, I feel like it's kind of like a pressure thing going on. It's definitely a flashback. We are definitely in a graveyard. Probably we came to pay our respects, I would say. He definitely lost someone he really cared about. You can see that. 100%. Show us. And now we're gonna be probably seeing the whole story. 1944. Okay. He's scared. Scared and nervous. It's Tom Hanks! Oh. Seasickness is a thing, guys. Clear the room! 30 seconds! Rudy, one man's a waste of ammo. Send out of your weapon. Okay. I'll see you on the beach. Send out of the weapon so they don't jam. I cannot imagine the pressure. The stress, the trauma. This is such a bloody start, to be fair with you guys. Jesus. I mean, the first ones, they were, they were condemned to begin with. They didn't even stand a chance. Sorry, I'm so... I'm, I'm, I'm in shock with everything happening. It's just chaos. And they need to reach the beach side, right? Exactly when he said Jesus, thank you, he just got shot. Theoretically, it's such an unfair battle. I mean, they are legit like sitting ducks right now. Can you imagine the PTSD after this kind of war, this kind of images you see? I don't think I could ever, ever have a quiet night after this, to be fair. I wonder if the movie has like real facts like inspired. You know what, what I mean? Wow. That scene. If it's like a true story movie or not. Let me know guys. I mean, anywhere but here sounds amazing right now. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting stressed here sitting on a chair. Wow. Who wrote this? This is so bloody, so violent. Honestly, if you're not hit here, someone is looking out for you.
He was pulling half man, guys. In a situation like this, you can only move. That's it. Only move. There are field mines everywhere. They have. No armor has made it ashore. Dog one is not open. So so less people remain that. No one knows who's the boss. First wave, ineffective. We do not hold the beach, say again. We do not hold the beach. Sure, <gasps> oh my god, he got his face. Got out, got out. There is damn holes in that thing. I'm in here, sir. See anybody else? Jackson, but that's about it. I was back there with Wayne. These hurt so bad. Maybe in front of Hunter Lee. Throwing grenades at those towers. He just got the shot. Like just give us a fucking chance, you son of a bitch. The frustration. This is the most traumatic beginning of a movie I have ever watched in my life. Fair. This is not about fair. Yeah, I think the grenades would be the most efficient at those towers. I don't know what the bungalow is. I have no idea. Maybe like like small rocket launchers. I recognize this guy from somewhere. <laughs> oh my god. Put it back, put it back. He dodged one bullet. Fire in the hole! So yeah, it is kind of like a, a, a rocket launcher, I would say. What's that? What's that? I don't know what that is. Ah, morphine. Okay, okay, okay. For the pain. He's gone. To be a medic on a battlefield like this, I, I, I don't have words to, to, to even understand how you can have the calm, calmly, calm. To be calm enough to do all of that. I wanna see what that is. Because they took something from his mouth. Ah, oh, mirror. Oh, that's smart. Left 30. That's smart, guys. Malice, let's get into the war. Grab some cover and put some fire on that crew. They are so in so much disadvantage, guys. The only way we can get everybody the hell out of here. Short Peyton McDonald's Park! This is so intense, it's crazy. I was not expecting this kind of stuff, to be to be very fair. See that impact crater? Yes, sir. That should give you complete defilade from that machine gun position. Get in there and give me some fire discipline. They're trying to take down the 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 machine gun now. She'd be very upset. I thought you were my mother. <laughs> I know this guy from somewhere, but I don't know from where, and it's bothering me. That was a beautiful shot. Religion used to play such an important, wow, such an important role always. That that didn't change in years and years. They're still coming. They're still coming. Oh no. Fire in the hole! I have never been engaged so hard in a in a in a movie like the beginning of the movie. Don't shoot! Let him burn! Don't shoot maybe to save ammunition, I'm thinking. Oh they're surrendering, they're surrendering, they're surrendering. The war is not between people and people, it's between country and country. So I think killing them after they surrendered, it's not the way. Sugar cane, 
Don't kill them, please. No, I don't agree. What do you say? Look, I washed for supper. I don't. Okay, with this I don't agree, guys. I'm sorry. I understand war is war, but I think. Do we know him? Getting war prisoners is a thing, no? This is Vin Diesel. Is he? Now that they have a little bit of a moment of safety, they all break down. The friends they lost. The... <sighs> friends, Italy. He's collecting a little bit of dirt from all of the country he probably fought. All of the France he've, he's been to. Yes, it is. This is a very su sad and kind of traumatic beginning of a movie to be fair with you and honestly the director and the writer they were not easy on this they they showed no mercy they they i don't even know how much footage of this movie we can even use on the reaction to be fair with you guys the water is red if if the fact that the water is red doesn't tell you enough like that fishes how many bullets do you think they shot in that water that they even killed the fishes with those bullets probably ryan s i want to know if right now we are after all of it or before after okay <sighs> this is so heartbreaking what is she looking for i want to see what are you looking for what is it i'm curious I cannot believe it passed already 30 minutes from the movie. I didn't even felt feel it, you know, like it, it was so engaging. Two men died in Normandy. This one in Omaha Beach. Okay. Peter Ryan. Another Ryan? This man was killed last week in New Guinea. Two Ryans? Probably this is a Ryan too. The three men are brothers, sir. Oh. I've just learned that this afternoon their mother's going to be getting all three telegrams. That's not all. There's a fourth brother, the youngest. He parachuted in with the 101st Airborne night before the invasion. He's somewhere in Normandy. We don't know where. Is he alive? We don't know. That poor mom. Four sons. Four sons. You lost three and one, the last one, you don't know if it's alive or not. Me as a mom, I I, I, I don't know if I... I don't know if I could. I, I don't know if I could. It will destroy me. It will destroy me. She knows. Yes. He was dropped about 15 miles inland near New Ville. We have to go and find at least the fourth son. And frankly, sir, we go sending some sort of rescue mission. They're going to be KIA too. They have to find this, this, this Ryan. They have to find him for the mom. Come on. She lost already three sons. Please go find him. I have a letter here written a long time ago to a Mrs. Bixby in Boston. Madam, I have been shown in the files of the War Department a statement of the Adjutant General of Massachusetts that you are the mother of five sons who have died gloriously on the field of battle of a loss so overwhelming that I cannot refrain from tendering to you the consolation that may be found in the thanks of the Republic they died to save. Me, I'm an egoistic person. And leave you only the cherished memory of the loved. <sighs> pride that must be yours to have laid so costly a sacrifice on but all my kids are gone i totally understand it but my kids i'm, I'm, I'm I, I like i said i don't think i could i don't know how how, how this matters alive. We are gonna send somebody to find them. yeah good d-day plus three the day maybe okay so maybe three days after everything happened we don't offload those dual drive Shermans by 0600. We're going to have an entire division stuck at Carrot Camp with its pants around its neck. The, 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 his mind is, is messed up. He said they misdropped, scattered all their sticks into the wind. Here, here, and here. They'd already gotten four of our Shermans and a number of our deuce and a halves. These two mixed high density feel a little bit of their. I mean, they still have to pay attention, you know, because of the landmines and everything. Bastards at the mine detectors don't pick yeah. up. Yeah. We turn them over to MPs from the 29th. At least they took prisoners and they didn't kill them right away. Well, that's good. The figures didn't want to give up those 88s. It was a tough assignment. That's why you got it. 
And he's gonna have to live with the consequences for the whole life. Oh my god, give this guy a break. Probably he's his. You and I are taking a squad over to Newville on a public relations mission. His uh, new mission is to find Ryan. We take the pick of the litter and the rest get folded into Baker. It can be Ryan on BAR, Jackson, Wade, Beasley, and Caparza. Beasley's dead. Oh my god. Mellish then. We got anybody who speaks French? Not that I know of. I mean, there was a the Ryan dead as Ryan on the beach, but I don't think they're talking about him, right? No. You're going home wrapped in American flag with a hunk of cheese in your ass, Caparzo, you smart ass. Now listen you liked up. it in the ass. What? I thought you liked it in the ass. It's good that they can still make jokes. Sir, there are Germans there are artillery in here, sir. I understand, Corporal. You have a problem with that, Corporal? No, sir. Just if you consider I've never been in combat. Oh, he's nervous. Did you fire the weapon in basic training? Yes, sir. My heart breaks for him. He really doesn't want to go. May I bring my typewriter, sir? It makes me so sad. Is that a souvenir? Ah, no, sir. Take the acting so nice as well. You don't need to carry those. You'll need that. Yes, sir. I feel like this movie is gonna be breaking my heart in a thousand pieces. I think maybe like an Aerian attack would have been better on the beach before they send the troops. But what do I know about war? I'm just here to look. I get my heart broken. I don't know, these subjects always are affecting me a little bit more. Hey, you want your head blown off, you fancy little fuck? No. Get the fuck back in formation. Arza? Is it, uh... It dropped dead, Corporal. And another thing, every time you salute the captain, you make him a target for the Germans. Corporal, what's your book about? <laughs> hey, what's your work? Sorry. Rifle. It's supposed to be about the bonds of I... brotherhood that develop between soldiers. I really hope he doesn't die, guys. Get a little of this guy, fish. <laughs> Why don't you ask the captain where he's from? Yeah, ask the captain. I'll tell you everything you want to know about him. I mean, where's the sense of risking the lives of the eight of us to save one guy? The way... Anybody want to answer that? Of how... Driving. Think about the poor bastard's mother. Yeah, exactly. Think about the Doc, mom. I got a mother, all right? I mean, you got a mother, sorry. Yeah, but that mom already lost three. Even the captain's got a mother. Sons. Papa's talking about our duty as soldiers. Yes, sir. We all have orders and we have to follow them. That supersedes everything, including your mothers. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Even if you think... He's so sweet. Especially if you think the mission's FUBAR. What does FUBAR? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Never heard of that. Well, by all means, share it with the squad. Over my way, thank you, sir. Well, it seems to me, sir, that God gave me a special gift. Made me a fine instrument of warfare. Riven, pay attention now. This is the way to gripe. Continue, Jack. So you much rather go and fight than do this? Up to and including one mile, of Adolf Hitler with a clear line of sight, sir. He's Back a sniper back, now. Hey, sir, Captain, what about you? I mean, you don't gripe at all. I gripe to my superior officer, so on, so on, so on. I don't gripe to you. I don't gripe in front of you. I don't know what gripe means. Worthy of my best efforts, sir. Moreover, to ease her suffering. <laughs> He's good. I love him. <laughs> I really don't want our, our little translator to die. The way of his innocence and his like clumsiness it just brings me so much joy in like such dark, you know, times and thematics. So I think that was why he was even written like this. You guys decided to saw our eyes. Dr. Hill, a relief showed up. How many are you? What do you mean, sir? We're here for a private Ryan. Who? Ryan? What for? Ryan, James Ryan, he dropped in with the 101st. Go and get me a runner up here. Runner! A runner, I assume, is someone that takes messages and goes up and down and, you know. The Germans have been reinforcing two regiments all day. That, that's Dagger Dusseldorf, our friendly neighborhood morale officer. That's broken. Like, bad, kind of. To be fair, I think being a runner It's one of the worst jobs you can have I didn't even manage to say my sentence and he died Do you have another one? Yeah, why did they keep shooting him up like that? As long as his lungs have breath in him, he still carries the message We do the same thing No, we wouldn't! Wait! Sarge, 
Hold right here. Yes, sir. I mean, guys, it's not enough that they fight and there is guns that kills you and everything. This it's even raining. Go. Up them. You stay with Sergeant Horvath. Stay right here. I'll wear my gun to work, Captain. Stay with me. I'll wear him like underwear. That's a nice line. I like it that they're trying to make a little bit of a light situation with these kind of jokey lines. But I think by the end of this movie, I'm gonna have three extra forehead wrinkles. On this corner, death laid right up to those gates. Everybody's trying to find out from where that the captain is. I couldn't even say, to be fair. Flash! Don't don't shoot them if they if they surrender. Oh my god, look at this. That's what if they know where the Germans are. We can't take the kids. Look at this image, guys. Being a family, and the only thing you can do to actually save your kids is to give them away to the. S Get back up there, Captain. The decent thing to do is to at least take you down the road to the next town. We're not here to do the decent thing. We're here to follow kids. He was on the ground. Before we heard the shot. Can we save him? That, that's a sniper in that church thingy. I, I wouldn't venture out there, fellas. This sniper's got talent. <laughs> this is just a damn heartbreaking movie. What the hell? I hope we can help him. Cap Caprizo. Yeah, don't attract. Just play dead. Don't attract more attention to yourself. Okay, Mr. Sniper. Can you see him from there? How is he? Why did you stay caught? Where's he shot, Captain? Stay, stay, stay down, stay down. Captain, can you see him from there? Stay down, you're gonna get shot as well. Man, Don't be impulsive. I'm gonna take care of you if you get hit. Copy, put the head down. Thank you, put the head down. I still don't know. It seems like he was shot in like shoulder or arm or somewhere like this. Let me not be ashamed. The guy is doing again the prayer. Wow, those are beautiful eyes. No, please. It's Stop, it. blood! Poppy, I see it. It's, it's to my dad. It's got blood on it. This is like a patient game. Oh, no. <sighs> I was so scared. I was so damn scared. We got him. Stay down. He's dead. He just tried to save his girl, man. This movie, I liked him. I like Caprizzo. I know that they they, they removed the dog tags. Do an ammo check. Up them. Can't change. Fill them up. Square. Jackson, search. They cannot probably even even take the bodies back home. Like these families never get oh, to. Yeah, this family don't even get to see their, their bodies for the very last time or something. I mean, I understand that they are mad about this Ryan. I would be as well, you know. Can you imagine he just discovered all of the soldiers by accident? Make you old. I hate war. John Miller, second rangers. Thank you. We're here looking for a private James Ryan. He's part of your outfit. Any chance at all you policed him up? Cynic, really. Uh, uh, kind of red. Lieutenant, redeploy that bazooka to the right side of the road. You get Ryan up here. I mean, at this point, the only lucky one is Ryan. He gets to go home. Everybody hates him. I would hate him too. He lost three brothers. Sir, 
Captain Miller's second Rangers. Yeah, your three brothers died, and you know to save your mom more la, less pain, like more to save her from pain, we take you home. Private, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. So I'll just say it: your brothers are dead. All of them. We have uh, orders to come get you because you're going home. Mm. My brothers are dead. Still an asshole? You take a picture when we go home? <sighs> how, might... how, how did they die? I would be devastated if something would be to happen my, to my sister. It can't be. My brother's still in grammar school. So you're James Ryan. <laughs> yeah. James Francis Ryan. Miles. Frederick Ryan, Minnesota. They got the wrong Ryan. So what does that, does that mean my brothers are okay? Your brothers yeah, are I'm fine. Sure how, do you, how do you know? How can you be sure? How do you know the foul up isn't it? Because your brothers are not in, in action. Sorry for the trouble. I just wrote them a letter before I left. This guy, man. Baker Company, 506. The guy with the broken foot, he's 506, right? Yeah, Charlie, I think. So now they're going until all of these companies, until they find this Ryan. Pilot went crazy trying to get out of there, turning every which way. Took more fire in the drop. Got anything left in this town like a three-star hotel? Definitely. Clean sheets. And With the butler. Soft pillows and room service. Uh, I'm on a nice comfy church. Yeah. Take that. What have you heard? How's it all falling to get alone? You got Cherbourg. Cherbourg, you got Paris. Paris, you got Berlin. And then that big boat home. They just want to go home. I, I, I so get it. I got a couple of brothers myself. Get them home. Everybody wants Ryan to go home. I want Ryan to go home at this point. What's with your hand? Mm. Probably stress related. Can't be Parkinson, right? Well, you may have to get yourself a new line of work. This one doesn't seem to agree with you anymore. Yeah. Might be stress related. That Anzio, the one that was always walking around on his hands, you know. And... I love these moments. I think they needed these moments. He's a goofy kid. <laughs> Remember, he used to pee a V on everybody's jacket for Vecchio. <laughs> and then he probably died, right? He's trans. He's like transcribe transcribing the the letter from uh, Cabrizio. Caparzo. 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 So you could save the lives of two or three or ten. Yeah, but in this case, it's for the life of one. I understand that for him doesn't really make sense. You know how many men I've lost under my command? Maybe even 20, right? 20 times as many. I hope so, because otherwise... Yes, how simple it is. That's how you... In moments how you like that... Making the choice. That's it. This time the mission is made. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. It's a one-to-one. -one. Cure some disease or prevent a longer-lasting life fall for some. <laughs> His body is revolting against him. Why don't you get some sleep? Why don't you get some sleep? What's that? Falls asleep like that. I mean, look at That's the sniper, no? Lie in my bed and try to stay awake as long as I could, but it never worked because because the harder I tried, the faster I'd fall asleep. <laughs> I don't know if it works like that, but you know. I swear that one was never to die to die. Me neither. Probably the only time she could get a word in. <laughs> only thing is, sometimes she'd come home early. I pretend to be a sleep. Oh. Who, your, your mom? And I knew she just wanted to find out about my day. If she came home early, I still wouldn't move. I'd still pretend to just be asleep. And now you regret it because you might never I have a I chance to do it again. You were a child. The actions of a child are. But this kind of gives us a lesson that you have to take every moment, every chance you get as it's your last one. Okay, sir. You never know when it's the last time you do anything. Bring these men into such swift and close collision in critical moments that man measures man. I think we don't need that. I'd much rather have no one knowing that. Okay. Collision. Did you look for the water? What's the pool up to? <laughs> well, when it gets up to 500, I'll give you the answers and we'll split the... <laughs> I feel it's my duty under your command to suggest that we wait until it gets up to 1,000. 500, 500 sounds better. You have a reason now to leave, I guess. At least a funny one. They have like such a darkened aura around them. 
you know, the acting wise, the line wise, and they are having like this kind of funny sometimes lines around that are just meant to lighten the situation. Like he said, I hope this Ryan is really worth it. I don't smoke, so I don't understand the need to smoke in your last moments. If someone can explain to me. Hey, Captain. So there, you want to fill me in? Hey, yeah, Lieutenant DeWin, sir. 99-2 Carrier Squadron carrying in 327th Ladder Infantry. Then some officer will come along, patch together a mixed unit. Check out that squad, see if Ryan's in it. Yes, sir. Smell that leg right there. Find out if it's south of cheese. If it's south of cheese? If it's infected, maybe? Yeah. What? In fact, it needs to get cut. Yudin. I'm Yudin, you know? Yeah, I couldn't pry him out of there hard as I tried. Brigadier General, amen. Deputy Commander, 101st. So many people lost their lives. I've welded a couple of steel plates onto our deck to keep the general safe from ground fire. I nearly broke both my arms trying to keep her level. And when, and when, and when we released, you know, I cut as hard as I could. Tried to gain some altitude and still keep her from stalling. Poor communications will get you that. Downward slope and all. 22 guys dead. Wow. Just because of that. One man. 22 died for one. Why did that go around? Fubar. I want to know what Fubar is. Fubar. What is Fubar? You all got that right. Oh, you might want to check these out, sir. Dog tag. More than I really want to count, sir. I've got covered a lot of bodies, sir. This poor guy as well. I'll help. I mean, the faster they finish with everything, the better. I wonder if the names they are using were actually important names during the war or anything like this. Let me know. I would like to know this, if this effect or not. I think that would be interesting if they would be using names that were in the war. Don't mix them up, Jackson, all right? Keep them in your own fucking pile. How am I supposed to know who we got? That's 3N, and it's French, all right? You know what that means? It means nothing. Who is this? Yeah. Do you need a hand with that? Can you read that shit? Jesus Christ, look at this poor bastard. They're having like all of this light situation about them while they're playing with the dog tags of their colleagues or their friends. Just throwing them like this. Like there is nothing. Yeah. Put them back in there. Exactly. It's disrespectful, I would say. These are lives. Lost lives. She's not here. To hear us sooner or later. Ryan! That might be a little hard to do, Captain. Seen it. Hey, you know, uh, excuse him off. Probably grew uh, uh, Ryan, James sure. Ryan, uh, Mercy, uh, Mercy, both. Uh, Private James Ryan from Iowa. Anybody know a Ryan? James Ryan! Hey, Joe, doesn't uh, Mandelson pal around with Orion from C Company? You're gonna have to speak up. You're sir. gonna have to speak James up, so sir. Good. My hearing is not goes. so good. Jimmy Ryan? James. James Francis Ryan. No, no, no. James Francis Ryan. Yeah, he's losing his patience. It's a small pencil. Write this down. Do do you know him? Does he know him? Read the message. Look. Yeah, of course I know him, sir. He's yelling because his hearing is messed up. Him, me, and a couple other guys were coming here to the rally point. Ran into a colonel who was gathering up men to go to uh, Ramel. So he went to Ramel? That's the last I seen of him, right. sir. Great. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Read, read, and thank you. Ramel. Everything to save Ryan. You know anything about this bridge he was talking about, Cap? <clears throat> yep. Push on Paris until we take a deep water port his, Rommel. His hand is still shaking. That makes any village on that river with an intact bridge solid gold real estate. Everybody's noticing. I feel like they're so good friends. And this damn music. I really hope they can find Ryan and send him home. Yeah, that's something we don't want to see, that people. Sandbag bunker right under the station. A bunker? See it? Yeah, it's my guess too. Machine gun, probably MG42. So they are protecting that bunker. Got those guys? Only one of them's on board. No, their patches are 80 seconds, so your luck's not that good. But I'm thinking we detour this way, quick and quiet. The crowds will never even know we were here. The crowds? I'm with Robin on this one, sir. You know, we left them 88. In the Air Force. Well, that's what you want to do, Malish? It seems like an unnecessary risk, given our objective, sir. Our objective is to win the war. Yeah, I mean, the greater objective is to win the war. I don't have a good feeling about this one. They don't want to go do this. When was the last time you felt good about anything? It, they, they have a hunch. You cannot 
let him go by himself though. You always have to even think that there might be mines or, you know, ambushes or stuff like this. Like, I would be so stressed the whole time. Who's going left? The sniper boy. No one wanna go left. Yeah, sniper boy. We advance and keep pressure on him until he has to change out his barrels. The way you run, I don't think so. Maybe I should go left, sir. Maybe you should shut up. He's trying to protect you in right? Face of fire. Is right better? I don't understand all of these military tactics. I, I, I couldn't, I could, I don't. I don't get it. They're using a cow as protection. They left the translator behind. Grenade! Yeah, yeah, throw all of the grenades. It's like, like four men against, I don't know how many in, in, in a fortress. What are the odds? Okay, someone got hit. Please don't kill this guy. I really like him. Please don't kill him. Okay, let's see who got shot. Oh, it was not sniper boy. Why put my legs up? Is it because of circulation? Because of blood loss? How's it look? You're, gonna be okay. You're losing too much blood. Okay, that's a shot in the stomach. It's not gonna make it. Oh my god, that's too... What does that powder do? Is it like an anti-biotic thingy? Like not to get infected? I need to know. I'm a curious person. Let me know. So their doctor got taken down. I could use, I could use a little morphine. They're not gonna... They know it's a waste. A waste. They know he's dying. They are trying to make it as... As easy as possible. They, they, he's overdosing. This is the easy way to go. Even in our adulthood, we, when we are suffering, we are still calling for our moms. Yeah, that won't bring weight back. You maybe saved a lot of lives with this move, but you lost a friend's life. And you have to live with that. It's, it's really sad. It's really, really sad. Bring the translator. Not yet. First make a mark and cover Wade's body for grave detail. Same thing for those paratroopers down there. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it does matter. Let's do one machine No, I can't get it. I can't Shut up with that filthy pig Latin. It's not Latin though. Jackson, you're hit. You and Sarge. Yeah, so it doesn't get infected. Bitte tötet mich nicht. Ich will mich ergeben. He says, please don't don't kill me. I'm surrendering. Sir, are you gonna let them kill him? This is not right. I agree with him. I don't think it's right. It's not like someone is going to war to have fun. You know, I mean, maybe there are people that, you know, are liking it. I don't know. But killing him after he surrendered? Come on. And this guy has to dig that hole knowing that they're gonna kill him anyway. For me, a human is a human. Like, I, I, I cannot not feel bad for them just because they were on the other side. I know maybe I'm just gonna get some hate for, for from you guys thinking like this, but I think he's feeling this loss a little bit more because it was his decision. It was his call to do this extra mission thingy. I like another king. I feel so bad for him. He said that he's not done with digging because he knows he's gonna they're gonna kill him. No. <laughs> Yeah. He much rather dig the hole more. I like America. Blow your kite. Get back your tongue. Call the beans. Betty Grable. My scans. Ah, I say, can you see? Ah, I say. Tut mir leid, den Mann, den ihr verloren habt. Den Bunny Feta. Es ist halt krüht mich. Sir, he says he's sorry about Wade. It isn't right. See guys, I know I like this guy for a reason. The corporal? Cor you gotta be kidding me, we'll let him go. He's a POW arriving. Can't take him with us. What is a POW? Please don't shoot him. 
They're gonna shoot him, right? Yeah, only if he doesn't get picked up by his own Vermach first and then thrown back into circulation. Cam, you just let the enemy go. Please don't shoot him. You have to stop the circle at get some point. Cap just gave you an order. Please. Yeah. I swear, I hope Mama Ryan's real fucking happy knowing that little Jimmy's life is a little bit more important than two of our guys. But then again, we haven't found them yet, have we? Have we? The frustration is up there and I, I cannot, I cannot judge them, you know. I totally understand it. You have to respect the chain of command. So what do you do? You desert? I'll spend the rest of my life in the stockade if I have to, but I'm done. What is a stockade? Captain! Oh, shit. Now this is bullshit. What? Fall in. Are you letting this happen? Captain, do it, man. Put one in my leg and give me that million I'm gonna dollars shoot you in your big goddamn mouth. Captain, please. All hell is broken loose right now. I'm what's wait. the pool on me up to right now? What, what, what's it up to? Where he's from? I'm a school teacher. Not that call. Teach English composition. Coach the baseball team in springtime. Just a normal man. Back home and I tell people what I do for a living. They think, well, not that figure. But over here, it's, uh... Doesn't matter what you're doing. Sometimes I wonder if I've changed so much, my wife is even going to recognize me whenever it is I get back to her. And how I'll, I'll ever be able to... Teach again? To tell her about days like today. You won't, and, and... I just know that every man I kill, the farther away from home I feel. I feel like the first war you're having is with your mental, and then on the battlefield. The moment you lose the war with your mind, is the day you lost the war. I'm so happy they didn't kill him, the the German soldier. You know, trying to keep your humanity as much as you can and not let your thoughts be clouded by revenge is the way to go. Could be so, so. Car is coming. Half-track, cover! Is it the enemy or is it theirs? I don't know who's doing this shooting. I'm trying to figure it out myself. The truck is dead now. What if it's your allies? Can we reuse the tank, kinda? Is it still usable? Okay, that's, that's who we were looking for, 101st, no? I've been expecting a pro, that must have been it. Ryan, first of 506. Ryan. KFC telling me third of 506. James Francis, Ryan. Is this Matt Damon? Yes, sir. How'd you guess that? Matt Damon is in this movie. We are looking for you, Ryan. Man, Matt Damon's so hot. Tell you what, sir, if you are relieved, I'm gonna file a complaint. I the best we can muster up right now is a corporal. The ranks are changing crazy. Ryan. Me, sir? You just wait until you hear your brothers are dead. James Francis, Ryan of Iowa. Yes, sir. I've paid now. Well, that's correct. What? Your brothers were killed in combat. Which which one? All. Uh, on the level? Yeah, I'm afraid so. I don't know what that means. I don't know what on the level means. I want to take some time with this. What's this all about? Ryan lost his brothers. Which one? All of them. You're, they're sending you home to your mom. You came all the way out here to tell me that? Our orders are to bring you back. I bet with you that he doesn't want to go home. Bring me back. I have my orders too, sir. They don't I'm, I knew he did, it doesn't want to go. I don't see that it does, sir. I can't, your party's I, over here. Sir, I can't leave until at least reinforcements. You got here. three minutes to gather your gear. Sir, what about them? I mean, there's barely hardly hey, enough of this. Two of our guys already died. Yeah, exactly. Move. That's right. Two people died to try to find you. Trying to find you. Everybody hates you because everyone thinks you're more special. Erwin Wade and Adrian Caparzo. Wade and... Caparzo. Caparzo. <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. Why? Why me? Why do I deserve to go? That's what everyone... Why not any of these guys? They all fought just as hard as me. Everyone is asking. It's because of your mom. Is that what they're supposed to tell your mom? Yeah. When they send her another folded American flag? Tell her that when you found me, I was here. And I was with the only brothers that I have left. And that there's no way I was going to desert them. I think she'll understand that. I don't think she will. I don't think that mom will understand it. I mean, it's noble. Don't get me wrong. I think it's noble. So what is he supposed to do now? He lost two friends. What is he supposed to do? How did he manage what to do, do all of this? Like, look at the, the background. You don't want to know what I think. Should we knock him out? No, Mike, I do. And take it with him? Take him with us? He wants to stay here, fine. Let's leave him and go home. 
and actually make it out of here. Someday we might look back on this and decide that saving Private Ryan got awful shitty mess. They put their hope that they're doing something good in this one man like mission, you know? This is such such a beautiful writing. We all earn the right to go home. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like he convinced me as well. Got the two 30 caliber machine guns, 17 grenades, 11 Hawkins mines, the two bazookas, but only got eight rounds left. Might as well be spitwads if they're rolling us with tanks. Put the sniper boy somewhere high. I'm thinking they're gonna try to whip around the flanks. Bit of a bottleneck. Yeah. Disable him? Yes, sir, that's gonna split him up, don't let him mess. At least you can try. If we can, I'd like to get you up in that. Good, good, I was thinking the same. A 30 with about a thousand rounds would be okay. Parker, job opportunity. So how the hell do you plan on doing that? How can we attract them into this? We could hit the tank in the tracks. Yeah, but with what? You know, we could try a sticky bomb. What's a sticky bomb? Sticky bomb, sir? Like, like a mine? You take a standard issue GI sock. Okay. Cram it with as much comp B as it can hold. All right. Come up with a better way to knock the tracks off a tank. This is good. I mean, it could work. It could work. I have to give them props for all of the, like, the, the bridge, the buildings destroyed. I, I would love to know if there are many, maybe, like, videos of showing them how they managed to do all of this. It looks really beautiful. I mean, not that it looks beautiful. It looks very good, very good made. <clears throat> we are setting up the snipers. But that looks like a small machine gun, kind of. Sticky bombs. We can call them smelly bombs, too. Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. This position right here? Just the thought of war makes me feel devastated to begin with. Captain? Where am I during all this? Never more than two feet away from me. It's not negotiable. You stay next to the captain. Like, there is no tomorrow. So you gotta be Johnny on the spot with the ammo. Oh, we're so he's kind of like a carrier, yes? You know, we were shipping out of England. The supply started just handing out cartons of cigarettes. I said, no, thank you. I don't smoke. No, you do. Oh. <laughs> Fuck that beyond. I'm gonna be a real shot, up something. Okay. That's what Fuber means. Now I know. What? Take it easy. <laughs> Fubar. <laughs> I mean... I don't think it's gonna work. Come on, a little bit. Trip, trip. Her lover left her, but she still sees his face everywhere she. Imagine that being that problem here now. This is like the calm before the storm. Even life itself only represents you. He's translating. She sang that before. Of course. Of course. And you speak softly in my ear. <laughs> Up on my. To be honest with you, I, I find myself curiously aroused by you. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of Mrs. Rachel Trubowitz and what she said to me the day I left for basic. What, don't touch me? <laughs> <laughs> They're making fun. That's good. Side cut, silk ribbon, triple panel, girdle with the uh, the shelf lift brazier. This guy knows his clothing, huh? If you're ever scared, I want you to close your eyes and think of these. Aww. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> and it seems like you never forgot forgot them. Are you all right, sir? Yeah, I'm just keeping the rhythm. Is it true you were a teacher back home? Yes. See, that's something I could never do, no. That's something you could never do. My brothers treated our teachers. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I like this moment. I can't see my brother's faces. You're under a lot of stress. And I, and I can't see their faces at all. Has that ever happened? You gotta think of a context. What does that mean? Oh. <laughs> well, you don't just think about their faces. You think about something specific. Yeah, like a memory. I want to think of home. I, I think of something specific. I think of my my hammock in the backyard. You have to focus on a certain my memory. My wife pruning the rose bushes and a pair of my old work gloves. The problem the problem with memories. Two of my brothers came and, and moved me up in the middle. Whenever you think about them, you may, you might be too vulnerable. So they took me to the barn up into the loft, and there was my oldest brother Dan with Alice <laughs> Alice Jardine. Oh my God, these teeth so beautiful. <laughs> Picture a girl who just took a nosedive from the ugly tree and hit every branch coming down. Danny, you're a young man. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> the whole barn almost goes up because of this thing. <laughs> can you see your brother's faces now? Because I can imagine them. That was it. That was the last... That was... Dan went off to basic the next day. That was the last night the four of us were together. Yeah. 
Tell me about your wife and those rose bushes. I love my demon. You know that one I saved just for me. This is the perfect way to explain the calm before the storm. They are coming. One moment you have a beautiful memory and you're laughing and everything and then the second moment your life is maybe approaching its end, you know? Four tanks, I don't know what models those are. Disperse, you know what to do. Rabbit, get on the rabbit. Yes, I, I assume the rabbit is the machine gun. Buddy, check your ammo. No, no, the, no, it's not the machine Look, gun, the little tank. <sighs> Getting ready, guys. Our translator, Abham? Is, is the one that brings bullets and armor and stuff like this, yes? Is that for the mines? Or for the... It's either for the mines or for the bridge. He brought the, the, the wrong bullets here. Molotovs? They're getting the Molotovs ready. Two ton of infantry, Captain. I don't know if they took the bait off. Infantry is like foot soldiers, no? I don't know, I'm scared for them. I'm watching a movie, why am I scared for them? Shares stressing. That's for stressing. The guy is zoning out. Zone back in. Oh my god, the sound of the, the tanks. Well, at least they took the bait. By those. Did they took the bait? Panzers didn't take the bait. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm still a little bit sick. Come on, turn right. Oh? Oh? They're coming, they're coming. Okay, so we have two tanks, the Prazors, that went to the left, and then I guess these are the Tigers. That's kind of like a battery, correct? I feel like I'm learning so much. This is nerve-wracking, I swear to God. Come on, make it go boom boom. The sticky bombs. The sticky bombs are for, for the tank. Stick, stick, stick! No! It exploded in his hand! Two... Infantry, five going to the side. Something. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh, they're turning, they're turning towards... Run! I'm losing years of wrinkles with this movie. They're like like 10 men against like 50 plus. Plus 4 tanks. Grenade, grenade them. Sticky bomb, sticky bomb. Run, run. They're trying to hold the flank. Okay, okay, they destroyed the wheel, so basically the tank shouldn't be able to advance anymore. Ah. Uh. Don't kill the translator! Run! Run! Molotovs shouldn't do a lot against- Oh, maybe inside? I mean, it's kind of stupid tank. I mean, an open tank like that is kind of dumb. What are they gonna do? Let's take the tanks and shoot at the, the adversaries. I don't know how many people are in a tank. This is a bloodbath. God grant me strength. I usually say God grant me patience because if you give me strength, I might kill them all. Yeah, now you have to change position because they know where you are. Oh my God, this is intense. He needs the bullets. I'm out of good caliber. Up ham! Up ham! I even like the... Oh, nice shot. I even like the sniper boy. Oh? My shield and he in whom I trust. Bam. Ah, he missed. He's left eye dominant? Interesting. Oh, no, 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 no! Shit. I liked Sniper Boy. I really did. Try to flank it somehow. Grenade it! Let me get over the top shot. Grenade the shit out of it! 
Gunning and running. Gunning and running. Oh my god. Come on. You gotta do it. You have all of the ammunition. You have to go. Shit. No. No, no, no. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. I'm stressing. I'm, I'm, st I'm, I'm pulling my hair out. I'm stressing. Okay, you're gonna have to start shooting. I know you haven't done it since training, but they are on your left. Los! His weapon is jam. Please, please don't be up on. Please don't be up on. Please, 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 please. please. <gasps> well, that was, was not up on though. Oh my god, that whole scene. The guy dying, them fighting over him dying. Like, okay, well, he took down the 20. I mean, at this point, start throwing rocks. That damn tank needs to go. Oh, bazooka, bazooka! Explode, you little shit. Up, hum. No, this is not the moment. Go, ready! Go! Up, hum, please, for the name of Jesus! I'm losing my shit here. Use your legs! He said that this is the easy way and, and it will be like kind of, it, it will stop soon, kind of. It's the easy way. He threw his gun, he just threw his gun. Is this the guy? Guys, I need to know. I'm, I'm ba bad with faces. Is this the guy that they let him leave? It can't be the same guy, right? Because otherwise, why would they let him leave? I don't... I'm, I'm so confused. The guy that they blindfolded? Is it? Let me know. I wish that I had German subtitles. I would have understand more. Something flanked. He has to go to the left. He's been to the right. Go back and go to the right. Kind of grenades? No! Alright, well. The tank is above him! Sticky bombs! Sticky bombs! Okay, I think Alamo. He chose it because he's already shot in the leg, right? This guy is just cheating dead at this point. Just pretend dead. How can you even have a normal life after all of that? It's beyond my understanding. Okay. This is after the bridge where we can still explode the bridge. The tank's coming towards the bridge. Oh! oh, oh. oh yeah. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We still have another hand. Boom. They're not gonna make it. The adrenaline and everything. I think this is one of the most bloodiest movies I have ever watched. Ever. Elf Ua. 11 o'clock, guys. Shoot there. That was the command. This is like probably the moment you see your life passing you know you see everything in slow motion come on captain mike is dead this is the guy that was was fighting with him the 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 brooklyn something something you have to explode the bridge oh my god he has perfect flank position oh that's the guy that let him leave i, I need to know man i feel like he's the guy that they release but i'm not sure he has perfect no, no, flank won't. position with He's not gonna shoot. Oh my god, he did shoot. He got shot in the leg. Yeah, a gun against the tank. I was like, okay, that will make more sense. Chest. Shh, shh. Aha, uh -huh, it is that same guy. I feel for him. 
This is where his character changed. But here is like, I mean, there's so much, much to talk about that whole scene. This movie is about so many things from brotherhood to being loyal, keeping your mission straight, dealing with stress. It's a beautiful movie. I feel like I don't understand all of this, you know, war talk to be able to comprehend everything. There are so many emotional moments in the movie. It's really beautiful, guys. Earn the moment I'm giving you, James. Do something with it. That's what the most hope. He's not shaking anymore. Even after he was informed of the tragic loss your family has suffered, this great campaign. The letter that they've been going, has been going on. I'm wishing you good health and many years of happiness with James at your side compensate you or the thousands of other American families for the losses everybody suffered pray that our Heavenly Father may assuage the anguish of your bereavement to have laid so costly a sacrifice I was thinking to freedom I was Abraham Lincoln <laughs> yours very sincerely and respectfully I was thinking that the old man was actually the captain apparently it's, it's actually Ryan yeah and he ended up being an old man and living his life. And I hope he... I hope he earned it. I hope he did. You remember the guy with the... With the cross? You see, saw that he had a tomb with a cross... With a star, sorry. With a star. There's another one there. To be honest with you, why wouldn't your help I feel coming back here? It's always these dialogues at the end. I think about what you said to me that day on the bridge. I've tried to live my life the best I could. Did you earn it? I hope that was enough. I hope that at least in your eyes, I earned what all of you have done for me. Yeah. That's good. Tell me I'm a good man. <sighs> I, think, I think he was a good man and I think he kept his promise to the salute. <laughs> He's from Pennsylvania, you see? And he was an English teacher. And probably the last thought he had was about his wife trimming the rose bushes. Rapsik, Pilberg, thanks. Robert, thanks too. I wonder what happened with the guy that was fighting. I, I forgot his name. Um, with the guy that was fighting with the captain at that scene. I don't know which one I used to wipe my nose and which one I used to wipe my face. The, 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 the guy that was next to because he didn't die. It would have been nice if we would have known what happened with him as well. <sighs> it was a beautiful movie. It was really, really good. I liked it. I liked the... I like the attention to the details, I like the, the background, I like the writing. I, I mean, I'm not put off by, by gore stuff, by, by stuff like that. So I, uh, I think it was beautiful. And I cannot talk not on my nose now because I don't know. I feel like it's, it's, it's one of those movies that we will remember. It's, it's, it's the acting, it's the writing, it's the story. I would love to know how many of this was, was like based maybe on a true story or it was just like writing and like all of the details all of the facts you guys can think of please let me know i would really appreciate it i'm really grateful for all your comments uh rating wise how many stars out of five uh i would say it's it's a five star for me i i i, I liked it i like the plot i like the acting i like the action in it i like the fact that this is, was almost a three hours movie and i was immersed into it every single second like i just felt like time passed extraordinarily fast it was so beautiful i really enjoyed it so much i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction as well don't forget to like and subscribe if you did as well um if you want to see the full length reaction and all of the moments, I probably got emotional because there were a, a good few when I was almost <laughs> crying and everything because of how beautiful it was written. You can find the full length reaction on my Patreon. 
my pleasure to have you there as well but yeah that's it that's it for today don't forget the five stars rating review here that we are doing today and i hope to see you next time on my next reaction have an amazing day everybody bye bye